I became interested in ayahuasca many decades ago intellectually because the molecule that is active in ayahuasca was called telepathine by the Harvard ethnobotanist that uh, discovered um, ayahuasca in South America. Of course, it's a tradition. It's probably hundreds of thousands of years old, or at least 40,000 years old. And so they called it telepathine, and that perked my interest because I'm very interested in the relationship uh, between human brains uh, based on quantum physics assumptions. So um, that's how I got interested in it. Then I went down to Brazil. I was invited to a ceremony in the middle of the Amazon basin and participated with 49 other people and drank ayahuasca for the first time. And I, as I say over and over again, it was my first awakening. Awakening to that reality is much more interesting and much, has much more depth and breadth than I had ever imagined. And I came back from that experience saying, this is a medicine everyone who needs this medicine should have access to it. And so that's where I set off on the path of bringing this through the legal channels of, of good clinical research that's safe. Because I believe that ayahuasca is such an important medicine, um, I, I I've, have applied to the Food and Drug Administration in the United States to be able to do legal clinical research in, in humans. And there's a whole process for doing that. I have approval from the FDA to give a standardized ayahuasca tea to uh, 12 healthy adults and then find out what a good dose would be for future trials future studies in depression, PTSD, anxiety disorder, existential despair, addiction, alcoholism, and uh, a new area called complicated grief.